Now, we're going to make a confession together. Some, I send this to some people, and it's because God knows your name and God knows your number, right? I will just read it from here, and I will just say, you know what? Wherever you are at home, just repeat this confession with me. I will use my family who are in the studio with me as a benchmark. As I say, it, I believe you are repeating at home. Right now, why are we doing this? Because the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 20, let me read it to you so that you will see why we're doing these things. It's always good to simply explain why we're doing things so that when you do it, you are doing it with understanding. So Proverbs chapter 18 verse number 20, right, says that a man's belly, let me read it in, a, in an amplified version that amplifies it and explains it further, right? I'm just waiting for my Bible to load, right? Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 20. The Bible says, a man's stomach, right? Or a woman or a boy or a girl, so it's not just gender specific. A man's stomach will be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth. He will be satisfied with the consequences of his words. Let me read that again. A man's stomach will be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth. He will be satisfied with the consequences of his words. Fruit of the mouth, consequences of words. So the words you speak will either bring you satisfaction or dissatisfaction. Do you know what the second verse, next verse is? Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 21. It says, death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it and indulge it will eat its fruit and bear the consequences of their words death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it and indulge it will eat its fruit and bear the consequences of their words listen we're going to make a declaration we're going to fill our bellies. We're going to release things that will bring satisfaction to our lives and our souls. And just confess with me, I received this divinely inspired. And I want you to just repeat and agree and declare. If you're at home and you can stand, stand with us. Or you can sit, take any posture. But just make sure that these words are coming from your belly, coming out of your lips. And you believe every single word because God confirms his word we speak with signs following. So right now, take up and speak this inspired confession over you and all your family. If you have a young child or you have a child in your belly, put your hand on your belly and speak over the child. Speak over your womb and declare this together right now. And here, you say with me, in the name of Jesus... I will constantly shut the door to be alone with God. I will build on my fellowship and partnership with the Holy Spirit. I will always consult the Holy Spirit. I will not do anything without the leading of the Holy Spirit. I have, I have understanding of the set time, the set time and, seasons and seasons for everything. God has made everything, has made everything beautiful, in beautiful in its time for me. For me. Trees and fruits have their seasons. Trees and fruits have their seasons. I repeat, trees and fruits have their seasons. And like, a tree, and like a tree, I know my fruitful season, I know my fruitful season and, I know my rest and I know my rest season. Because I understand, because I understand that, trees that trees are not designed to produce in every season, I shall produce fruit in my season. And my fruit shall not be aborted in the name of Jesus. I receive, I activate 
and release the force of joy in every trial, tribulation, or temptation. I count them all joy. For the joy of the Lord is my strength in and through it all. In the name of Jesus. I cannot hear you. Don't get tired right now. Receive. Breathe in and breathe out. Again, we're going to declare by the Spirit of God. Declare now the locust. The locust. Say louder. The locust. The locust. Kankawam. Kankawam. Palma worm. Palma worm. Caterpillar. Caterpillar. May, have he- May have eaten. But in this season, but in this, season this, new this new season, God is restoring, God is restoring. the years. All the years, all my years that I may have lost. In the name of Jesus, my years are being restored. Restored in the form of new opportunities as I improve my values, my honor, my respect for people and little things I once despised. I cannot hear you. I cannot hear you. God is restoring seconds, minutes, hours, moments, days, weeks, months, seasons, and years. I seize the opportunities that come to me every second and make the best of them. When I ask God for wisdom, He gives me liberally liberally the wisdom I need need to overcome. overcome. I operate in wisdom wisdom from above, above, not in wisdom from within, not in wisdom from from without. I am an overcomer. I am a victor, victor. never a victim. victim. I am more than a conqueror conqueror. through Christ Jesus. I am like a new wine skin. I readily receive new wine from God. I have put off and I'm constantly putting off the old goat nature. I am a new person who is renewed in my mind. I am producing the fruit of love, joy, patience, long suffering. Peace, Peace, faith, faith, meekness, meekness, and and self-control in all that I am and in all that I do. We are about to hit it now. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, inside every problem problem lies the solution. solution. I am a problem solver. I I confront problems problems and and solve them with divine knowledge. Divine understanding understanding and wisdom wisdom to the glory of God. God. I am beholding, I am am experiencing experiencing a new season. season. And God is doing doing a new thing thing in my life life right now now. in Jesus' name. name. Amen. 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 You are a problem solver. I prophesy to you as you watch this, every problem that confronts you, you will find the solution. Amen.